so let's see when we need to deposit our amount on on mandatory saving let's take example yusufu let's take example yusufu has come to deposit another yusufu has come to deposit another saving amount in his mandatory saving for instance when yusuf come to deposit we, we are going to come here on the part of deposit when you come on the part of deposit when you click here it will gather the transaction date when Yusuf need to deposit this amount on a saving of mandatory saving accounts. So I'm going to choose the date, then the transaction amount in which Yusuf is depositing. Let's take example Yusuf is depositing 200,000, but also the payment type which Yusuf will be using to deposit. Maybe it's using the deposit through Fahari, Uduma. After that, here, if you need to show any payment detail, it's not mandatory. Maybe if you open, you can put the account number, the check, the routine code, receipt number, the bank, the notes. But it's not mandatory if there is, if you have it, account number, which is so as posted, but the check, you can just add it. If there is, you can just delete it. Then after that, we can just uh, submit. When you submit, you will come here and define that total deposit until now is 2,000 and 10,000 because the soup has already added 200,000. So when you come here at the term part, on part of a transaction, when you see our transaction, when you come on part of a transaction, we say again March 30, 2020, Yusuf has been has been posted 200. So, that. so if you need to view again the receipt, you can just come here, the same procedure there, and the view the receipt of the sofa. The receipt will be here to be shown the same as this one in Sof Michael, but also the figure which is 200,000. So if you need to download, you can download it here, but if you need to print, you can just print it the receipt and give it to your sofa. For instance, when we go back to the transaction, we'll be looking at like this one. Here on the charges, we'll be showing the charges which Yusuf has been paid. So after, so after that, let's go on another part. Another part is withdraw. Withdraw here, we need to see when Yusuf, when Yusuf come to withdraw some amount from his mandatory saving. Maybe Yusuf decided I need to draw some amount for mandatory saving. Maybe it's 50,000. So we come there it here on the part of withdraw. Just to click here the part of withdraw. And then it will gather the transaction date when Yusuf need to withdraw this saving amount. For instance, I'm going to take the same date. Then the transaction amount. Let's take example, Yusuf need to draw 50,000. And then payment type which you so need to the payment type which which are got which which you are going to use to which you are going to use to give you so for his money. For instance, let me take maybe cash. So first we come to draw and then payment type will be cash. Then after that I'm going to submit. When you submit and come they are down when you drop down here and you come down here on the part of transaction when you did see the transaction we'll see much that is so full has been has been withdraw fifty thousand and the balance will be showing is one skiste so let's see we need to export and generate a report to see from today from this day at this day we need to see all the transaction which is so far has been made so we come direct to generate the reports when you come to generate the reports here down the report will be showing or the branch which is head office it will be showing the branch which is head office but also current name account name and actual staff then we the, the the date from and the date to 
but also all the transaction ID will be here, transaction date will be here, transaction type will be showing, you so for depositing 10,000 the first time the balance, but also it's going to be posted 20,000 here. But you so came and with the draw here has been part of debit 50,000, so then the balance will be shown here. So all the transaction which you so will be made will be shown there. So when you come here, you can just see, you can just download it, but also can just print it after print it and give the statement to you so for. When you cancel, you can just go back. And then when you need maybe to export, but for instance, when you need to view journal entry, you can just click here and view all the journal entries. When you click, you'll show all the journal entry, which is the entry ID. There will be office, transaction ID, but also transaction date, but also there will be the type, this type of books, if it will asset reliability created by the someone who the, the, the someone will be using the system for my side i'm demo but if it will be for instance esther here to be showing created by esther if it will be maybe paulina to be showing created by paulina but also here there will be account called the court they will be showing the all all the account codes which you, the, the the account code of the books but also the account name so to be shown it is fund source, a bit provision fund source, but also it will be dated or credit, credit, credit. So all the information will be here for journal entry. You can just view it. After that, you can just see.